I hope that you're doing well this Saturday evening and that you're able to stay as warm and safe as possible during the winter storms. We've had a beautiful day today and the roads have cleared off very nicely. And so I hope that you've made plans to come and be with us at the Bridgewood Church of Christ for the Lord's Day. We're looking forward to being together for Bible class, Bible study at 9 a.m. for all ages. And then our worship assemblies, both at 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Travis said that things look great at the building. There's no issue from the winter storms. The heaters are working well, so be comfortable in the building. He did say that on the north side of the building, the side that faces out towards Whataburger, the shadow of the building, the shade of the building has left some ice and snow on the sidewalks, curbs, and the parking lot up near the building. So either exercise lots of caution. He's done everything he can to treat those areas, but he can't rule out there'll be a slick spot. So exercise lots of caution or an easier solution, park on the south side of the building, over by the kitchen, over by the pavilion. Uh, sun's been shining there. It's a lot safer to come in on the south side of the building tomorrow. You won't have any issue there. Maybe you'll You'll like the change. Another change that you'll see tomorrow is I'm not going to be there. On Wednesday, I did test positive for COVID. Of course, the girls and Brianne had had COVID back on January 24th. I thought plenty of time had gone by and I wasn't going to get it. And I was wrong. So like many of you, I've tested positive for COVID and I've gone through a fairly light uh, case of it. I'm thankful for that, but I am still in my five-day quarantine. Tomorrow's my last day of my five-day quarantine. So I'll be staying away for the safety of everyone there at Bridgewood and, of course, in the community. I will miss being with you all for worship. But I really appreciate Carol Harris Jr. delivering the sermon in the 10 a.m. worship hour. He's going to be talking about the creation of a new man from 1 Corinthians chapter 5. I really appreciate Gary Fallis delivering the sermon during the 5 p.m. worship hour. Also appreciate Daniel joining in in 9 a.m. Uh, in the auditorium class, joining up with Travis to co-teach that class in my place. I look forward to hearing each one of those lessons. I'll be online with you tomorrow, studying and worshiping right along. I hope that you get some good rest tonight. I look forward to worshiping with you tomorrow at the Bridgewood Church of Christ.